today I'm going to be reading from a book called A Very Special Wish. The story of today is going to be The Wish Cat. Holly's house had a cat flap. It was a small door in the big door so a cat could come and go. But Holly didn't have a cat. <clears throat> One night something magical happened. Holly saw a falling star. As the star trailed across the sky, she made a wish. I wish I had a kitten, she whispered. A tiny cuddly kitten who could jump in and out of the cat flap. Crash! Something big had landed on the windowsill outside. It wasn't a kitten. It was Tom, the scruffiest, most raggedy cat Holly had ever seen. He sat there in the moonlight, smiling a crooked smile. Meow! I'm Tom, your wish cat, he seemed to say. It's a mistake, Holly cried. I wished for a kitten. Tom didn't think Holly had made a mistake. He rubbed his torn ear against the window and howled so loudly it made him cough and splutter. Meow! Wow! Wow! Holly hid under her duvet, hoping that he'd go away. The next morning, Tom was still there, waiting for her outside the cat flap. He wanted to come in. He had brought her a present of a smelly old piece of fish. Yuck, said Holly. She picked it up and dropped it in the dustbin. Tom looked puzzled. Bad cat, she said, shooing him away. Go on, go home, she said, said Holly, walking across to her swing. But Tom was there before her. He sharpened his claws on the swing and washed his coat noisily, pulling out bits of fur and spitting them everywhere. At lunchtime, Tom sat on the windowsill, watching Holly eat. He bro she broke off a piece of her sandwich and passed, it <clears throat> and passed it out to him through the cat flap. Tom wolfed it down, purring all the while. In the afternoon, a cold wind swept through the garden and Holly had to wear her jacket and scarf. Tom didn't seem to feel the cold. He followed her around, chasing leaves, balancing along the top of the fence, showing off. It was soon time for Holly to go indoors to tea. Why then, Tom, she said, and stroked his tatty head. Tom followed her across to the door and settled himself by the cat flap. That evening it snowed. Gleaming pom-poms of snow danced in the air. Outside the cat flap, Tom curled himself into a ragged ball to keep warm. Soon there was a white cushion of snow all over the doorstep and on Tom. Holly heard him meowing miserably. She ran to the cat flap and held it open. Tom came in, shaking snow all over the kitchen floor. Poor old Tom, said Holly. He ate a large plate of food and drank an even larger bowl of warm milk. Tom purred louder than ever when Holly dried him with the kitchen towel. As soon as Tom settled down, snug on Holly's bed, Holly stroked his scruffy fur and together they watched the glittering stars. Then suddenly another star fell. Holly couldn't think of a single thing to wish for. She had everything she wanted and so she had Tom. And there they are. Mm -hmm. Hope you enjoyed that. And I'll see you all soon. Take care. Bye-bye.